Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. In this case, a video that I meant to do a couple years ago. If you remember the video, Chef Josh, which I'm pretty sure no one else remembers, but I'll try to find it. I haven't watched it in like two, like in six months. But um, anyway, if you remember that video, I said I wanted to do another, you know, another one. So here today, I'm making myself mashers. No, they're not the potato pancakes that you. I forgot they're called. Uh, I'll probably remember it later in the video or something. But, um, basically, this is something I've made once. I loved it, so I want to make it and show you guys. So, what you'll need is some, you know, any type of mashed potatoes. Some salad, you know, some, you know, Velveeta, because Velveeta's the best mac and cheese there is. You know, it's just good. So, anyway, let's get started. So I do the thing that you usually do. You amount of water you need to make the mashed potatoes if it's pre-packed, or if you just have regular mashed potatoes, um, skip this part, but still watch because I need that ad revenue, even though I have under a thousand subscribers. So the small one, I don't have the small one right now, but um, so I this is a one liter because one liter is around four cups. Something that's cool that taught me that was kind of useful. So let's get to that. Water is secured. Let's start one right. I'll come back to you when this is boiling. Mashed potatoes smell good. Do not ask my other things around this room, sure. Okay, mashed potatoes are in. Water's not boiled yet. So, anyway, this time, I take the romaine salad and I get it prepared and I get ready to merge it in there with the, you know, the other stuff, and I put maybe like a cup or two, however well you measure salad into there, then stir it up and then wait. So I'll see you guys when I get to that step. As you know, Velveeta isn't really the most healthiest option, even though I love Velveeta. I'm going to stuff like a small bowl, you know, I'm just getting ready, you know, preparing for later. So, you know, like maybe like, a, one, like one tiny bit of Velveeta. I don't want to go overboard. The only reason why I'm doing this is because I forgot how long it takes water to boil. Like, I have it on high, and it's been like a minute or two, and I'm still waiting for it to get done. So in here, about two-fourths a cup of Alveda. Basically, what I'm going to do is, like, try to make myself, like, a mini bowl of it, since it's, you know, not the healthiest option, so I just, you know, make myself, like, a small portion size. Again, water takes a long time to boil. I mean, it's almost done boiling, so, you know, let's get some water in here. <laughs> That should be like enough. Go. Do that. Turn off the water. And because I've never done this before, you know, like make shit like that. I'm just gonna use my mathness and probably drain out the excess water. So I'll put this in for like 30 seconds to see how that goes. Update later. Yeah, I wasn't done. I'm putting it there for another minute. Water is almost done, boys. This is the best thing to get, like, somewhat in the middle. Half-baked, probably. But, uh, if there's one thing I know how to stomach, it's stomaching bad food. Cheese time. Don't put too much to overkill. There we go, that should be enough. I hope he has, like, the best cheese when it goes to mac and cheese. It's good, you know, a little undercooked, but, um, yeah, it's good. You know, since I don't have an actual little bowl, bowl. And water's boiling, boys. Where did the water go? It's right here. <laughs> Time to stir. Thank God it's instant. <laughs> Pretty pog. So, looks about done. is huge. That's good. Ah, that's good. It needs a little bit more time to cool it off. But you know, just stirring. Ah, <laughs> my hands, man. Hmm. Mm. 
I'm gonna come back to you guys when the steam's wore off a little bit. One thing to do. Let's just do that. <laughs> Maybe the mash potatoes can do something like that. Best you know, since this is still hot, it might be the best idea, honestly. So that way, you know, going a little bit off brand here, but hey, it looks cool. <laughs> I just go completely off the rails. All of my stuff I do is freestyled. Like, you're just seeing me do it in the moment. I have never had a pre written video, ever. Like, everything I do is just off the off the script. Like, <laughs> I'd have stuff planned out, but like, nope, I'm just gonna do this instead. God damn, my life is weird. <laughs> the weird shit in my brain. Yeah, it's working. Yep. Here's one with a piece in it. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of saved the Velveeta mac and cheese of that. You know, just stirring it now. Mm. Hot. Mm. I'm trying to give you guys, you know, the best viewing in the world. Of the hell I'm doing. But yeah. Time for that to cool down and, you know, get the salad ready. On to the salad. Just some romaine lettuce. I love salad. You know, I like a small bowl, you know. A pretty small bowl. And I'm get some scissors. You know, just, you know, trying to cut it. I won't cut. Hold on. Be right back. Best part is a salad because I don't want to show this with my giveaway where my grocery store is, but um, you know, it's supposed to look smart today, so you know, get some salad out. There we are. And also, because I have a love of lettuce. I'm gonna pop the lettuce. Back in the fridge. You can see the steam's kind of calmed down. I can put my finger in it without me seeing what hell looks like. Hot. Hot, hot, hot. But it, it's good enough now that I can pour, you know, the salad in. You know, stir it around. You know. Give me a second. And it's done. I'm trying to add some seasoning. I accidentally paused the video, so yeah, it's going to be merged together, which kind of sucks now, but, you know, the usual suck specs when it comes to, you know, that, you know, salt, you know, you know pepper, and cayenne. I can't open cayenne with one hand. Oh, there we are. I like spicy stuff. Oh. Can't show that. Unless I want to get doxxed. Huh. Being doxxed isn't cool. There we are. Done. There we are, so not time to stir this up. Yep, that's done. Now time to make the pancake. So I get this, you know, spray it down here. You know, trying to, you know, even it out. After some edging out, there it is. The mashed potato pancake. Yum. Thanks for watching. I'm only pausing this because I don't know what to say. But, um, thank you for... Thank you guys. And 200 videos should be... It's going to take a minute to make, but, um... Thank you all for watching, and goodbye.